So guys, today I will show you that how we can make a fake God Ray or Eye Spotlight. You can see which button I am pressing at the left side. So let's do it. Shift plus A, then Mesh, then Plane. Tap to edit mode. Press S for a scale. Let's scale it for 10 times. Tap, go back to object mode. Now add a light source. Shift plus A then light and spotlight now move the spotlight up let's narrow down the mouth of the spotlight so for that select the spotlight then go to object data properties then under spot shape decrease the size Let's add a new cone, shift plus A, then mesh a cone. We need to place this cone at the same position at our light. And also need to make the same size as our light. So let's do it. As we can see that our pivot point or the origin for our cone is at the middle. We need to move it to the peak of the cone. So let's do it. Select the cone and go to edit mode, tap. Press 1 to vertex mode, vertex selection mode. Select the upper vertex. Shift plus S, then cursor to select it. Tab and go to object mode. Then select object, set origin, origin to 3D cursor. Now select the spotlight. Shift plus S again, cursor to select it then select the cone again then object snap selection to cursor press tab and go back to edit mode press 3 to select face mode then select the lower face of the cone let's make the cone size as the same as our light source press 1 to front view Press S to scale. Let's press 3 and see. Uh, everything is okay now. Go back to object mode. Select the cone. Select the object constraint. Add object constraint. Copy rotation. The target. Click on the eyedropper tool and select a spotlight. So what we done here, if we select the spotlight, now we can move it and our cone will move with our light source so that we can animate it easily when we want. Select the cone, then go to material tab, then click on new to add new material, give your material a name like ray, then go to shading tab. Now click on add then search for texture coordinate, texture coordinate. Then mapping, MAP, mapping. Then separate X, Y, J. Then color ramp. Connect the texture coordinate generated to mapping vector. Mapping vector vector to separate x, y, j vector and separate x, y, j to z to color ramp fact. And the color ramp color will go to principal BSDF base color and the alpha will go to principal BSDF alpha. Now go to material tab scroll down at the setting select the blend mode to blend alpha the shadow mode none uncheck the show back face button now we have a gradient here at our cone let's go back to color ramp let's flip the gradient because we need the darker color at the upper part so for that click on this arrow icon then flip color ramp then change from linear to ease 
to make it more soft let's add a third let's add a third color now we are almost done select the first indicator then click on this bar white bar a for alpha reduce it to zero then the second indicator same alpha 0 0.45 and the starting color indicator 0 0.5 it's up to you that how much opacity or how much transparency you want let's see what we got so far render view so there is no light spot so for that select the spotlight then increase the power to 500 so select our cone again let's decrease the other light like 500 so that we can clearly see what we have here let's select the cone and adjust our ray it's really dark so what can we do really simple principal bsdf at emission change the emission color from black to white now we can adjust the opacity or the transparency in color ramp you can adjust it here it's really simple if you think the opacity is, is still too high at upper part so just click on the starting indicator then decrease the alpha to 0.4 and then go to the middle one same decrease the alpha to 0.3 now suppose we don't want this white color ray so for that just choose your color select the first indicator then again go to the bar click on hex if you have a color paste the hex value of the color press on enter same second indicator third indicator now last the emission color let's change the spotlight color spotlight color same paste here if the spotlight color is too hard you can just click on this again and drag down the brightness let's animate it let's add a box here shift plus s to change our cursor to the center shift a and add a cube let's animate select the spotlight suppose let's move it here we are at first frame press i rotation let's go to 30 i rotation 60 i rotation let's change the n to 60 let's play it so guys that's how easily we can make a fake god ray or eye spotlight from our blender so thank you guys see you on the next tutorial